Oh, that's a bit different. We still got Stony here. That's good. Oh, Stony, help me out here, buddy. Hasn't noticed me yet. I'd rather keep it that way. Um, stack of plates. Stony, you help me out, buddy. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you better run, punk. Stony, you saved my life, buddy. Marks on its skin. I'm probably going to need to know that. So, A13. Fended them all off. You went to bed early, got five, ten, or five kilograms. And in comes Kate. Where are you coming from there, lady? Alright, what are we facing today? A window. I knew there was a freaking cold front. I knew it. I knew there was going to be something chilly about this. My name's David. Catherine, or just Kate. Do, do I, do I know you? What? No, I mean, okay, this is awkward. Yeah. Maybe we were on the same train or bus one time back in the old days or something like that. It was something else. Anyway, you think you help with something, David? <laughs> you can calm down, Cody. We're friends. How you know my name? I don't know. It just came to me. Stay away. I don't know you. Barry. Have we met before? I don't... Oh, wait, I... Did I meet you at the gas station before the world ended or something? What's going on, Kate? Why do I keep feeling like I've been here before? James, baby. No, I mean, yes, but there's more to it. Well, whoever you are, what do you want? Flamethrower. <laughs> Flamethrower. I wonder if I should have done that now. <laughs> it's fun to light a fire with a flamethrower. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, buddy. Alright. So cool that everything in the area was just a lie. I was alive, I haven't found, it's frozen instantly. I found shelter in a house, I'm gonna save you. Front door is closed, 2%. Back door is closed, 2%. Window on the ground floor was covered with a thick blanket. That blanket was taped to the wall with duct tape. Built the window block 6%. Ooh. It's not going fast enough. Window on the upper floor covered with silver thermal blanket. The thermal blanket was taped with duct tape, 6%. Put a restaurant flag in the opening. Large hole in the attic. The attic was important airflow. It stopped six percent. Fire was burning the fireplace. It was generating a lot of heat. Thirty. Nice. Very nice. Sudden strong to put the fire out. You had to, a lot of spare kindling for such occasion to relight the fire. Make the flame bigger. Basket in the fireplace was full of noodle burn. It kept the fire going till dawn. Plugged in electric heater. Twenty-two percent portable gas heater. 24%. Boom. Oh yeah, baby. It wasn't as bad as you thought it would be. Conditions outside were harsh, but in your hideout, everything was absolutely fine. It got a bit chilly. Oh, I missed that. Dang it. You were able to rest much more comfortably than you thought. Yeah, baby. So what's night three going to be about? Stairs. This is new. Yeah. It's Barry's wife. Hello, Maggie. 
Hello, dear. Wait, 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 you're... I must be dreaming. Indeed you are, my dear. I know you. I buried you. You're Barry's wife. Yes, you did bury me, honey. I'm quite grateful for that. Uh, no problem. <laughs> it's a dream? Yes, darling. It's quite obvious once you start to look around and think for a second. You've been here before, but your memory is failing you. It's from dream traveling. You've got to watch out as you do. It can lead to dementia. Well, I don't understand. I hope you will, because a lot depends on it. Barry's your husband. Yes, darling. And for some reason, you're in my dream. Well, not personally. I'm dead, remember? I'm just an echo of Barry's memory of me. Why are you here? I'm here because you let Barry die, honey. I don't wanna. No, it's impossible. He's fine. Oh, maybe now he is fine, but he didn't survive your previous life. Previous life? You've been here before, honey. Deep inside, you know it's true. Hmm? Tell me the future. What's gonna happen? Can you tell me that? You care for your friends, darling. You're a, you're a good man. And I don't want to, I want that boy to get hurt either. But if you try, you could save my husband too. Just don't let, don't let him go there. Go where? The sand tomb. Don't let him go there. Tell him to wait. Oh dear. Oh boy. Shadow man. I think that time here has run out. They found you. Oh, wait, what is that? Run, right, David. Don't let that thing touch you. And please, born Barry. Also tell him I love him. And that it wasn't his fault. Ah. Run faster! Run faster! Oh. Those shadow guys are no fun. <laughs> oh, bandits, man. Is that another bad dream? Hey! Who built the snowman? Okay, so we had Maggie visit us in the middle of the night, so now we are going to go and uh, see if this affects our trip to Side Real Plexus any. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Barry. Yes? Could you wait for us by the car? Why? Don't you think it's dangerous to separate like this? Yeah, usually it is. I just mm, have a bad feeling about this one. Can you trust me on that? Just wait for us. I have no idea why you're doing this, but okay. I'll just wait by the car. Thanks, Barry. No problem. Just be careful out there, okay? So since he's not with me, that means I can probably... No, my look is probably going to be like, save Kate or Cody. <laughs> Watch out! Ah, <laughs> nice. So it's just save Cody. Sweet. Awesomeness. You okay? Wow, did you see that? The hole is like bottomless. I was so scared, but you saved me. You're actually very brave, and you do the same for me. So, uh, what now? Lucky nobody fell in there. Looks really deep. Yeah, lucky us. Seems you have to go on without me for now. Find the location of that base. Look for documents or a map of some sort. We'll just meet up later. Good luck. Thanks, Kate. See you later. So I found these documents which discuss um, somebody having a bad experience in the dream area. And boom! Look at that thing. Yeah, further connecting the two stories. It's good to see you two back. Kate told me what happened. If you hadn't warned me to stay, how'd you know? Dreams? Yes, dreams. There might still be something worth checking out in this building. Yes, because remember, upstairs there was that thing I couldn't move. Maybe I can use Barry to help me. If you say it's important. It's too heavy. Hey, Barry, you want to give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? <laughs> yes. Help me with this pipe. Did you help me with something? What is it? This pipe over there is blocking the way, but it's... It's too heavy for me to push. Sure, let's try it again. Thanks, Barry. You're welcome. So what is on the other side of this door? One thing. 
Another floppy disk. Mem boost. Ah, oh, yes, the second disk. Because there was two slots. What's this? Jonathan sampling to St Steffi Servin. Oh, look, it's that, the, the black card upstairs. All the necessary preparations have been completed. We are ready to start the procedure. According to the calculations, chances of success are about 89%. As I mentioned in our last conversation, with current conditions, I will not be able to get better results. And I think this is a risk we have to take. At the moment, we do not have much information about the crystals, and we're in possession of a very small amount. We need more if we want our expect expeditions to continue. Even if an, attempted, an attempt to synthesize more could end up in a disaster. The blue crystal? This is more important than the existence of one world. Even in the event of a failure, we will gain a huge amount of information that will allow us to increase the safety of the procedure. In the future, SP-2728 is expendable. The level of development leaves much to be desired. It is also one of the least profitable, profitable facilities. According to the instructions from the director of SP-4, you should immediately evacuate. Mrs. Stran Stanford has a list of employees who should be informed about the evacuation if it is an actual necessity. So, the blue crystal from uh, 3, is that what allows them to do the dream walking thing? Because it took over my body when I was asleep. Oh my god, that's amazing. Anyway, so I don't think there's going to be anything more... Um, I mean, we're doing the, the bandits thing, so I'm not sure if there's going to be anything more... Um, shut up. Necessary from this chapter, so uh, I'll be back in the next one. That always gives me such a freaking cool outro there. <laughs> Cody and Barry in their seats. It was truly a miracle to have them both there. Faint memory from another life echoed in your head. Oh, awesome. Here we are. We are now on the moon with Barry. Katie, all right? Uh, that, was, that wasn't one of my best landings. I've never seen you do any better. Could be worse, though, couldn't it? In my defense, it was my first time landing on the moon. Good job, Kate. We're proud of you. Barry, are you hurt? I don't think so. Just some bruises. Try to stand up. We have to move. Cody, you okay? Uh, I don't know. Can you stand? I think. What's that sound? Are we gonna die? We're losing air, David. Oh, we're losing air, David. Now it's time to use the spacesuits. I agree. Wholeheartedly. Look at us. We look so cool. We're all happy family. Happy family. Happy family. Boom. God, do you think I'd be able to move a little faster? Do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you. Stefan Servan. Okay, cool. I know who you are. Hey. Yes? What do you think of this place? It feels like I'm in a dream. Maybe we are. It surely is otherworldly in here. Maggie loved you. Huh? Of course she did, and I loved her. But why on earth would you bring that up now? Just, I don't know. I, I don't think she blames you for anything that happened. I don't want to talk about it, David. We have things to do. I hope this is gonna make things better. Wait for it. Memory boost. Bammo. I've inserted the mem boost disc into drive A. Computer reads it. This problem will not prevent memory loss, but it will let you carry over more memories in case of emergency merge. Blah, 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 I have a memory of inserting a single disc into this console in previous life. Maybe now, with both discs in place, things are going to be okay? Kate? Yeah? Um, I've put in the both discs. I've inserted two special discs into the console. What discs? One was labeled memory boost, and the other was phase controller light. I found them at the side real plexus office, and I know they're going to help because I remember using one disc in my previous life. Wait, what? You actually remember being here? Yeah, dude. Like, I have video proof of it, in fact. Vaguely, like a dream. If one disc caused this, two of them might actually boost the system enough for us to, to survive, to end this. How many loops do you remember? I'm sure about one, but then again, I had a prophetic dream in the previous life, too, so... I guess we've been through a lot. And hopefully this is the last one. Let's do it, then. 
Yeah, baby. Time to sleep, right? Or should I go first? It's okay. Remember to turn off the lights. I promise you won't do anything stupid. Have I ever done anything stupid? Huh, you're funny. Hey, Barry. Kate? Sorry if I was mean to you. Oh, it's okay. That's how you roll, right? I know you're a good person, Kate, even if you don't want the world to know. See you around. Bye, big man. Hey, Cody. Um, never change, okay? That's what you write in the yearbooks of people you don't like or don't know anything about. Don't change. Okay. See you soon. Good night, Kate. All right, David. So, here we are at the end of the road. Or is this the beginning? I wouldn't have made it this here if it wasn't for you. Are you getting emotional now? Huh? I think I spent too much time with you. Where do you hope to wake up? In a bed. In a world where they have a moon and lattes. I hope that's what happens. Me too. Bye, David. Till we meet again. Just don't point your gun at me when we do, okay? Sure's gonna shoot me. Can't promise that. <laughs> oh, we're funny. Hey there, buddy. Time to sleep, Cody. It's time. I don't want to sleep. I know, but we all have to. I won't be able to sleep now. I'm too scared. This machine will help you. Come on. Don't be scared. What will happen? Where will we go? I, I don't know. But it's going to be all right. Sleep well, kid. You too, Barry. David, I don't want to be alone again. You won't be. Wherever you wake up, I will find you. Promise. Promise. Hey. Yes? It's your turn, buddy. It's time to say goodbye. I don't like this idea, David. I know what you want to say, and I don't like it. To be honest, I have no idea if this does anything or if we are just being delusional. Nothing to lose, right? We came this far. Might as well give it a shot. Want me to go first? Nah, it's okay. You seem to be the one who knows which buttons to press. Hey, David. Yeah? You say we can find ourselves anywhere in any world. That's how I understand it. You think... You think I'll see her? Maggie? My wife? I don't know, Barry. But I think there's a chance you will. Say hello to me. Say hello to her for me. Sure thing, David. Sure thing. Ah, oh, it's my turn. Sleepy time. You want to hit the yes? Oh no, no power! Run! Oh, tense music! Ah! I love the music. Main power restored. Oh no! Run! 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 All right, run, 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 run. Sleep pod. Time to sleep, friend. Yes, please. Oh. Closes just in time. It's kind of nice that the power... Oh, I got the family and escape. Lunar drilling canceled. Lattes? Newspapers? Oh my god, did we actually get a good dream? A thumb. Option. Adoption permit? <laughs> Kate! <coughs> <coughs> Me! Barry and Maggie. Oh, that's so sweet. And look, they got the lighthouse painting. So, Cody and his bear, or his uh, plushy tiger. I woke him up in deep sleep. Deeper sleep. Yeah. We made it. Or we are about to. Oh, the moon is still alive. Don't escape. Four days to survive. Ah! A game by Matsu Scriptwelder. I still love your last name. It's such a cool name. Additional screenplay and design by Gris Grzegor Skrepski. Chris Cardone. <laughs> I 
Happy Endings, Armor Game Studios. Oh my god, that was so good. I love that. Ah. But there you have it. That is the final ending. The true ending of Don't Escape 4. And I love that. It, 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 it ended perfectly, you know, with you being live, you know, being safe. Where they didn't do the drilling on the moon and didn't ruin the moon. So we're all going to die in a few years anyway. So that's good. Now, that would have been one thing. It'd be like you get down to Earth and you're like, oh my God, we're alive. The Earth is alive. Everything's functional. Then all of a sudden you read the newspaper. Starting lunar drilling and like, oh, for Christ's sake. Ah. I wonder if it was us that adopted Cody. I hope that's what that means because I am very I, I, I very much love the idea that, that we adopted Cody. Me and Kate or, or even Barry and Maggie. Either one. I mean, sh somebody adopt poor little Cody. <laughs> I woke him up in deeper sleep, but did I wake him up? Or did I put the, the did I put the plushy tiger there? And then uh, my Cody, this one Cody, found him. That would have been so cool. Ah, oh, a custom game option. What's that? Oh, that's so cool. Both discs were used. Neither discs were used. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, um, custom game parameter. Can I... Uh, both this reused. Oh, sweet. I can choose which one I want. I mean, the only one I really need, still need to do is the Locust. So, I mean, I can do the Freezing Wave and the Razor's Gang. And, ah, oh, sweet. Okay, cool, cool. All right, well, that's going to be it for this series. The series that is our Don't Escape 4 and just Don't Escape in general. And, while this isn't the only script welder games, I have been looking up other ones. I think these are the only two that are connected. I might check out the other ones just to make sure. But script welder and your whole team, fantastic job. I love these games, and I don't know if you can really understand what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm assuming that you can at least to some degree or at least get captions to see what I'm saying, but... Keep up the good work. I love the interesting stories. I love the pixel style. I love the art that you guys, y'all have done, and and it's just a beautiful series altogether. And I loved it. The horror aspects, the 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 don't escape aspects, the 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 flip the flip on the um what do you call it uh, usual escape room aesthetics, just spectacular. And thank you all so much. And. To my viewers, thank you all so much for joining me for this series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you are more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for a new series on a new time. And until then, 